Let's talk about Apex Legends, a unique battle royale game developed by Respawn Entertainment, set in the same science fiction universe as Titanfall series. Several characters of Titanfall appeared either as minor character or playable legend in this game. Development began around late 2016 and Respawn launched it in February 2018. Ever since, Apex Legends has only become more successful with over 100 million players across the world. That's why. Right. I say Apex Legends is the best battle royale game and today in this video I'm gonna tell you why. I think all battle royale games are beautiful and fun but in my opinion Apex Legends is the best battle royale game. I should probably stop saying Apex Legends is the best game. Well am I gonna be annoying and keep saying Apex Legends is the best game? Yes. But let's see how many times I'm gonna say it in this video. No negotiation guys. Let your guard down and accept the fact. Yeah. Right now at this moment I can name a lot of things that makes this game tremendously different from any other battle royale game out there. But for now I'm just gonna mention one. Movement. Movement in this game is so smooth and enjoyable. It makes this game more challenging for players. That's why people are so obsessed with this game. They want to come back for more because you literally cannot predict your enemy's next movement. Well actually that's not true. In some point you can predict your enemy's next movement. If you play against Warzone players, BURN! Stop the hate guys and accept the fact that Apex Legends is the best battle royale game. I know I can convince you that Apex Legends is the best battle royale game, but I'm hoping that I can convince you to subscribe to my channel and let this video go viral. Is that too much to ask? Hmm. Everything about the act of playing Apex Legends feels good and the more I play, the more I find to love. One of the most important aspects in battle royale games is the communication. You play with a team, everyone is doing their part but when you communicate with your teammates the entire game is gonna change unless you're imperial hal or shroud which i doubt because they're just one of a kind where were we communication in apex legends now oh, the ping system ping system in this game is definitely the most easiest and the most convenient way to communicate with your teammate of course mic is the best way to communicate with your teammates unless you're eating while you're playing or you have your mic in your mouth like this <laughs> that's when i have to mute you you have no idea i've played my most intense games with strangers without using a mic by just pinging everything whether you're looking for attachments or see somebody or you want to attack somewhere or disagree with your teammate that they want to go somewhere Somewhere or even warn them about the enemies close by. You might say every battle royale game have the ping system. That's right, it's true. Almost all the battle royale games have the ping system. But here is a question. Are they better than Apex Legends' ping system? No! 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 And here is the second question. Are they even close? And the correct answer is... No! It's hard to deny. The ping system is truly impressive. In every other battle royale games like Fortnite and COD, characters are the same. And by that I mean their abilities are the same. They could be different visually if you jack your mom's credit card and buy the battle pass and all the weird skins, but in Apex Legends, all the legends are different. Each legend has a passive, tactical and ultimate ability to complement the traditional gameplay. Let me go into details a little bit. In Apex Legends we have Lifeline. She can raise you if you're knocked by using her drone and heal you. She can even drop the care package for you, for new attachments, maybe a better shield. She will be there for you always. Unless your lifeline teammate is a 5 year old, then you're screwed. You don't like lifeline? That's alright. We got Bloodhound. Bloodhound can scan behind the walls before you enter a building like a dumbass who's just looking for attachments and nothing else. Come on, teammates. Ugh. You don't like Bloodhound either? Fine, take my main. Fuse. Fuse can shove up a knuckle classer in enemy's ass or burn them to hell with the mother load. You don't like Fuse? That's alright, I'm actually happy because I main Fuse. But we have Loba. Loba can drop the market for you. You can loot at the same time check her booty. Yeah, and we have more and I'm not gonna tell you about it because I'm gonna just keep talking and talking and talking and talking. Now tell me, can Captain Price do any of these? No! There are every kind of weapons in this game, we're talking snipers, assault rifles, pistols, submachine guns, shotguns, marksman weapons, and all of them with attachments, which when you equip them, makes a difference. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes these weapons can piss you off so bad. Once I broke my mouse and once I broke my headset, especially PK, Peacekeeper, you know what I'm talking about if you play Apex Legends, those close range fights, 1v1, with the PK you just hit them 20 million times for only 11 HP. 20 million times 11 HP, they would get the job done, but... <laughs> <laughs> but don't get it wrong, it's not always like that. It could be the opposite way. You could hit the enemy for 110 HP. Boom, squad wipe. 
yeah. The experience of shooting these weapons are different. Besides that, every single weapon has its own recoil system, which makes it more challenging and more fun. But at the same time, it could drive you nuts. While many games in the genre have stories, none of them are as interesting as Apex Legends. Taking place in the same universe as the company's Titanfall series, the two share many characters and weapons, but there are a lot of other aspects that are unique to Apex. Legends has their own backstory, their own motivation for entering the titular Apex game, and their own distinctive design and dialogues. These characters are expanded in the stories from the Outland series on YouTube, which is expertly animated. Each one is a complete treat, but it doesn't stop there. The stories are integrated into the gameplay as well. One such example are the characters Revenant and Loba. Revenant many years prior to the start of the game killed Loba's father in an assassination mission. This is frequently mentioned by both characters in the dialogues. And here comes the best part, maps. We got 4 maps. Apex Legends has 4 beautiful dynamic maps. Each map has its own personality coupled with unique gameplay features. King's Canyon is filled with wildlife, from the beasts in the sky called flyers to the massive dinosaur creatures. Wall's Edge has a beautiful color and weather palette. The map is covered in icy blues and lava oranges. The main feature of the map include a train that circles the map and serves as a form of transportation as well as a hot point of contention. Olympus offers Apex Legends first ever vehicle which is called a trident and storm point storm point is just a map let's just forget about it yeah i hate that map so much <laughs> storm point is the biggest map in apex legends just like king's canyon it's filled with wildlife sometimes i feel like developers put king's canyon and olympus in one blender they added a few ingredients blend them together and then boom here it comes a new map hope you enjoy it guys because it sucks all right, all right, all right. That's all I can tell you guys. I mean, I can definitely tell you more, but these reasons, just, but these reasons are just enough. Trust me. Apex Legends is the best battle royale game. Agree or not? If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like the video. And if you are convinced now, if you think Apex Legends is the best battle royale game, then you owe me a subscribe, baby. Yeah, do it. <laughs> subscribe right now. By the way, guys, next week we're gonna have a giveaway. Apex coins, 10,000 Apex coins in this channel, in my channel, Professor Mo's channel. That's the only channel we got, yeah. Stick around guys, winter is coming, and I'm the storm. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, much love, Professor out.